Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Bugs Bunny Lost in Time for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last episode, we faced Pirate Sam, again, and we also went to a secret cave, where we found some of the treasure, but not all of it. We're gonna have to do some things if we want to come back and get everything here. In the meantime... We have opened up Dimension X, which I called Mars in the last video. I mean, it it is Mars, but the game calls it Dimension X. So we're going to go to Dimension X. Where is it? 1930s, Dimension X. Excellent. All right. First of all, we can go ahead and get this carrot because we have 99 of everything, carrot-wise. So that brings us to 114. And now we just need to go to the Planet X file. There are 14 clocks and 26 golden carrots to get here. And you, you don't have to jump before pressing R1 to use this teleporter. You can just jump in and press R1. specimen to test my new space modulator experience. Great. Marvin the Martian has a clock. That's fun. So here we are in Space Base Area 1. We're obviously not going to be able to use this to teleport anywhere, because that's where we start. And now we have these translucent platforms that we can get on. What are you? Oh, you're the, uh, you're the garbage storage. This is where you end up if a certain thing happens. And I will tell you what that certain thing is, should it occur. For now though, we wanna go in this direction. And we want to be very careful as we do things. Obviously, you don't want to be get out by that. I should have waited. That'll teach me. And from here, I want to go in this direction. I could use that platform, but not quite yet. And if I can just walk off the edge there. Wow, great. Good play. I can get over that barricade and I can kick this switch. Now you see why I didn't take that platform immediately. Because that platform, had we not hit the switch, it would have taken us nowhere. And now we can safely jump over this and I believe we need to go over here. Let's check. Okay, we went the wrong way. It's a little easy to get lost. Thankfully, you can always figure out exactly where you need to go. And from here, we can now use this platform. Now it's time to see something happen. That is how we're gonna get past that Martian. Now, you want to be careful as you mo make your way through here because you do not want to get grabbed by that robot. If that happens, oh dear. Yeah, you do not want that robot grabbing you. Because if that robot grabs you, it's going to be bad. And from here, we need to jump from platform to platform. We only have so much time to jump from one to the next. You will have that platform you're on just disappear from under you if you take too long. You don't want that happening. And just to prove a point,
Yeah, they disappear. You don't want that to happen. How are we looking so far? Ah, 9 of 26 for the carrots and 1 of 14 for the clocks. Alrighty then. We have some things to grab right here. And you want to be careful as you grab it all. Because you can get that robot's attention and it will shoot those freeze rays at you and it can be bad. You really want this thing to freeze the Martians. The Martians will push you away if they're not frozen. And you don't want that robot to hit you with the freeze ray either. Because if that happens, you'll have to basically mash buttons to get out of your frozen state. Also, if that robot catches you, he throws you into a door, which takes you all the way back to the garbage storage. Meaning you're kicked back all the way to the beginning, and that can be frustrating because that's a lot of ground you have to make again. That's a lot of ground that you had to catch up on getting. That's a lot of ground you have to make up for. And by kicking this switch, we should be able to make our way past these crushers. We now have, oof. We now have a means of getting past whatever is past those crushers. Also, I did not believe that that crusher hit me. That is instant death. Sometimes they're in sync, sometimes they're not. And from here, we have plenty of places that we can go. I'm going to tiptoe here to get these things. The more of these I can get for the carrot count, the more I can get for another overworld carrot. And there's another clock. In. If you remember the teleporter from where we started, it said out. If it says out, you can't use it. If it says in, you can. I'm going to use this checkpoint just in case. And let's press R1. And that says out. So these teleporters are definitely one way. And now we have two golden carrots and a clock. Let's go ahead and get the clock. We are now 4 and 13, which is pretty good. How many do we have? Well, we're 14 of 26 now. We're 4 and 14. We have 14 of the clocks and 26 of the carrots to get. So we just need to be careful here. And let's press R1 here to go back. It may seem like we've went somewhere we shouldn't have, but... We're now elsewhere in the section that we were previously in. And we have another clock. Now, these green lasers shock you. You can either roll under them or jump over them. If you have one of the two currently out. It just depends on which one is working at the time. And that's not a thing that I want to do yet. Do want to look around. All right. Let's take this path first and see what happens. Okay, we can just roll. That's fine. Oh, we're back where we started. Okay. Well, at least I know where I am now. Let's take... Uh, or did this go to the... Tel no, this goes to the teleporter, doesn't it? Yeah, this goes to the teleporter, so we have to go this way. All right. And, of course, we have more of these electrical barriers to avoid. Thankfully, we have a little space between the, this pair. 
and we kick the door to open this up. Let's grab a clock. Let's grab the golden carrots that are off to the side. Carefully now. We don't want to anger the robot. There's a carrot there, but I don't know if I want to get it. And yeah, that door right there, that's a that leads up a pipe, and it leads to the garbage storage area, which is a place you don't want to be. And by shooting at these things, or having the robot shoot at these things, we're not the ones doing the shooting here. We can get rid of the... Wow. For once, that hay is warranted. And no matter what you do, there is no way you are getting out of that pipe maze. There's no way to change your fate. You're going to get kicked all the way to garbage storage, and you're going to have to do all that again. And, of course, you're thrown into a checkpoint when this happens, too. So, you're forced to go all the way back manually just to get back to where you were. This is the one annoying thing about this whole segment. And if I can get away from this thing long enough, I don't want to have to worry about being zapped while I'm getting on these platforms. Great, thanks. I really needed that. The fact that I have to change the camera around just between jumps when I already feel rushed just because of how the platforms are. They just disappear after a few seconds of standing on them. Yeah, that can make this part a little bit tougher. And I'd rather not walk off the edge and do the jump that way. I'd rather just use the X button for all this. Let's grab this. Well, we're not exactly grabbing it, but you know what I mean. Where is everything? Okay. At least it doesn't take that much time to get back to where you need to be. But I really thought I could get past that. I re it doesn't take uh, that much time to get back to where you need to be. But when it keeps happening over and over... It can be a bit irritating. All right, we're back here. And this is where we need to go next. Now, thankfully... Oh, that's not where we need to be. Well, we can fix that. Really? Well, let's see if we can roll through here. Good. Okay. Now we are back to where we need to be. Let's just hope that the... Really? Yeah, just hit me twice because iframes apparently don't exist in this game. And I think I need to get rid of this guy just to be safe. And let's jump over to here. And that'll get us to the second part of the Planet X file. I really like that loading screen. I mean, these loading screens really give off the feel of an old Looney Tunes cartoon. But man, did that ever feel like the 1950s or something. Anyway, we're now in the second part of this. Let's just go ahead and grab this. That way we can say we got that. I'm pretty sure there's a different way to get that. 
but I'd just rather get it that way. And of course, you want to be... Really? Can't tell where I'm supposed to stand. Y yeah, you're supposed to either jump over or roll past the electricity. But I can never really tell where the hitbox for that for those jolts of electricity begin or end. Um, so I'm taking damage when I don't want to. Okay, let yeah, let's just do that. And now we need to do something here. Believe it or not, we could go in that direction, but that platform has nothing solid at the bottom. So what you have to do is you actually have to go down this ramp, which can be pretty hard to spot. And thanks to that platform, thanks to that switch we hit, we can go up these platforms, but I'm not sure if I want to do that yet because I do want to sneak around, grab a couple of golden carrots. I'm going to hold the, the circle button down just to ensure that I don't run off any edges that I shouldn't run off of. How are we doing here? 6 and 21. Okay. Well, I guess that's all we can really do. And how are we... I might as well go ahead and grab that carrot. Why not? Okay. Let's sneak back. Let's get up these platforms. And now we have a button. The button here will get make that platform solid. There's just one problem. It's on a timer. Thankfully, as long as we're careful, this shouldn't be much of an issue. And we should be able to do that just like that. This platform will allow us to go back. And we will eventually have to go back. For now, I want to grab some carrots. Make it a little easier on myself, health-wise. And then, I'm going to go ahead and hit the checkpoint. And I'm going to do the edge wall hop just to get to this platform. Now, we are going to have to be very careful over here. Just keep running towards the fan as you make your way to this platform. Grab the clock. Hit the switch. This knocks out the electricity. And we have something happening over there. Very well then. The good thing that we have the edge walk hop, as I'm going to call it now. Because that makes it a little easier to get to that point. And again. Alright. Now we need to hit this button. This will allow us to get over here. Give ourselves a little bit of momentum. And from here, edge hop again. Alright. We've done pretty well for ourselves so far. R1. Hello, travel hair. Let me save your position. Yes, let us indeed save our position. And from here, we can now save all the progress that we have made. We have seven clocks, and we have almost all of the golden carrots for this stage. And we are now at 40% done, which is pretty nice, all things considered. We still have a little bit of work to do in the Planet X file. But I'm going to go ahead and save that for the next video. So join me next time where we complete the Planet X file. Thankfully, this is a level where we can find everything on the first trip. 
So we can easily get all the clocks and all the golden carrots here. We'll see if we can do that next time. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!